Hey Saints fans, well here we are with Matthew Finnis, the final piece of the puzzle. We've got the new coach, new president, and now the new CEO. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Rue. It's been good to join you down here. Very excited to have you. Um, for all those that, that don't know you, you've, you've come across from the AFL PA. You've been there for how long? Yeah, I was there for nine years. Uh, joined the PA in 2005. I was a, a lawyer before that and uh, went to work with Brendan Gale, the Players Association, and got to know you. And you were a much younger man uh, back then, Rue, just getting started out. Changed a little bit <laughs> since then. But uh, yeah. what, are your, uh, what are your initial thoughts, I suppose, coming from the PA? You've... You've had a heavy involvement in the industry, involved in football. How do you uh, how do you sort of adapt now to, to club life and, and representing a football club as opposed to all the players? Look, it's a very different mindset in terms of, I guess, the stakeholders who you represent in the game. Um, but there are some similarities, which I think goes to to how you run a business, and and that is that uh, you know you've got to identify what are your key priorities. You've got to have a really strong sense of your strategy, where you're headed and the values that are going to underpin that business and, and probably most importantly is that you then uh, you know, get a group of people who are prepared to work together to you know, be pretty relentless in pursuit of those goals. You mentioned your, your key strategies as being really important with respects to St Kilda. What, what have been your impressions from afar and now that you're here? Yeah, look, I, I, as you said, I've had the privilege of I guess, seeing 18 clubs uh, in my previous role up close over some time. and. And over that time, you know, St Kilda has had its ups and downs. Uh, it's you know played in in grand finals, uh, and it's had a turnover of a lot of, a lot of the list. And and now, you know, I get a real sense of St Kilda as um, it's a very young, dynamic place, which is um, which is taken stock and and regrouped, and now going again, I guess, and to, to use that phrase. Uh, and and there's a I think a genuine sense of optimism about the future. So you sort of see it as, as a fresh beginning for the football club in a lot of ways? Yeah, I reckon it is. And, and it's about, uh, a bit about the new personnel, a new coach and a new president. And, and, uh, and that always, I guess, signals uh, a new beginning in many ways. But I think we've also seen that in you know, the way in which the teams um, started performing the year and, and some of the young players coming through who have already had that chance, which I guess you know reflects you know where the team's at. That you're blooding young players uh, from early doors, and hopefully the fans can see you know a bit of excitement there to get behind and, and be optimistic about what's ahead. I think one of the other things that fans uh, might have heard a little bit about and might be optimistic about is is the potential for the club to uh, you know get re in touch with the uh, you know the entirety of the Bayside, where um, we've got a great home down here at Seaford. We've got a, uh, an attachment to Moorabbin and there's been talk about the junction. You're a, a Bayside man yourself. You live in Bo Morris with your, with your family. What, uh, what can you tell the fans about a uh, possible relocation? Oh, look, I think it's, um, it's, it's very early doors in relation to you know, um, talking about, about that. What, what I would say is, is really exciting is that it's about St Kilda connecting with all of its heartland. And, and that means, you know, from St Kilda, you know, through Moorabbin, down here to Frankston and right down to the peninsula. And, and if St Kilda is going to, you know, truly connect with our fans, then we've got to really engage with all of our Bayside communities. And, and so, um, you know, having a presence uh, in all of our heartland um, places, I think, is a, it should be a key strategic pillar of, of the organisation. And, and that's pretty exciting. I think, we've, you know, everyone's right behind that. Yeah, certainly... Uh you know, the, the Port City to, to Port Melbourne aspect is, is huge for the club. And one of the ventures they've taken on recently is, is New Zealand, and we head there next next week. What, what excites you about uh, about the potential uh, for us to move into New Zealand and, and capture that audience as well? Well, I think what's great about that is that that's St Kilda being the first to do something, isn't it? It's, it's, it's actually saying we're going to be the first team to play a home and away season yep. for four points game overseas and, and embracing that new market and you know already we've got two players on our scholarship international scholarship list who you know we're embracing as well so I think that what that demonstrates to St Kilda members is here's a club who's prepared to push the boundaries here's the club who's prepared to try new things and and that should be a hallmark of of our leadership but also what we stand for as a club so I'm looking forward to jumping on the plane with you next week and, and spending some time uh, with the Kiwis. Yeah, it'd be terrific well I know all the all the players are really excited to have a a players man, you've come from the Players Association now as CEO. Is there anything in particular, in particular, you would uh, you'd like to say that to the supporters? Oh, look, I guess um, it's uh, it's a real privilege from my point of view to 
to come and work at this club. It's a, it's a foundation club. Um, it's got a, a tremendously uh, faithful group of supporters and, and I've, I've been here five minutes through, but um, uh, I've been amazed and, and uh, the, the, the passion that exists and just how much people care. I think about the Saints as well, and that's um, that's something which uh, I, I really want to harness and and make sure that we repay that faith and we're true to the fans and uh, and look forward to the journey. Good stuff, mate. Welcome aboard. Thank you.